Go for the second game here today, St. Peter's against Austin Stacks from County Kerry. Austin Stacks had a, a very, very good record in the footballing terms. Wind is after getting up here again. Ryan Doran, the referee, ready to throw the ball in. The ball is in and the game is on. And the number 11 for us, the stacks have it, Gavin Casey. Gavin Casey goes strong running down through the middle of the field. Oh, he kicks it in behind Owen, bringing in the full back to Shirley Gold. Oh, great stop there by the keeper. A brilliant stop by the keeper. Austin Stack still have it handled on the ground there. This will surely be a free out. A free out here for St. Peter's. Nice ball out there to James Foran. James Foran has it now. Is it back to Danny McGill? Danny McGill has it again now. Danny McGill has it. He still has it. He's looking for another player coming through. Colmar O'Leary has gone through there. The full back has yes, gone flying yes, forward. He'll yes, look for the ball it, again. Back there here to Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin. Oh, I heard look there by Paddy Donnelly. That's a good. That's great. Well taken there by James Foran. James Foran. Number 15 there. Keen down. He has it. Into the middle of the field. Middle of the field, Liam Galvin has it. Liam has it into Finn Warnock. Finn Warnock to full forward to number 14. It's a lovely ball out to, the, uh, to number 15. Oh, he taps it out nicely there. Keen Downey out to the number 7. Freddie Guy. Freddie has it now. Little small Freddie. It's a nice ball back in again. Look, looking for Finn Warnock. No, it's the number 11 has it now. Number 11, Aaron Midlane. Aaron Midlane has it. It's back out to Tyke Stafford. Tyke has it now. He'll surely run into the corner. He'll charge forward here. He'll have a go. He'll have a strike. He hits a high to the... Oh, that's just a great score there with the left foot. The left foot by Tyke Stafford. A great score, first score there for St. Peter's. Austin Stack's goalkeeper here now. Oliver Latta. They're ready to kick this one out. Oliver slips as he kicks that one out but does a great ball out and it's gone down it's going for the line she's going to go over the line here yeah, that's it that's a line ball there for St. Peter's James Foran will kick this one no Danny McGill is going to kick this one Danny McGill is going to he's going to look for someone here He kicks it up along the line here. A lovely ball into the corner here. He's looking for Aaron, Aaron there. Aaron, their number six has it. Fionn Ryan, Fionn Ryan gets it out there to the number 11, Gavin Casey. Gavin Casey still has it. He still has the ball, he hits it. Oh, a ball out. Oh, he's getting a free for his troubles there. And they're number six now. Fionn Ryan will take this. He kicks a sharp ball out to the number nine, the number nine, Ronan Carroll. Ronan has it now. Liam Galvin is after him, but Liam slips, of course. Liam at Kerry, as a son of a Kerry man too, but this is a great run in here. Now, boy, Stacks, Stacks are still going. And he'll surely get a score out of this now. He'll surely get a score. Oh, he kicks it down to the left and wide. We thought there would have been a score there, but he, he kicks it to the left and wide. But a great move there by the Stacks. John, John, John. You mean that with you have, John. You mean that with you Gary have, McGuinness is going to kick this one out. He'll surely look for some of the lads in the middle of the field here. It looks like Liam Galvin. And <laughs> Liam Galvin was looking for it. He's kicked out to this side to the number 12. Tyke will go up for this one. Tyke doesn't get it. He's out there hurting himself there in a the fall. Tyke is down. He's down injured here. They'll be looking. Stacks have it here and he kicks it to the right and wide. Another bad miss there for the Stacks, but Tyke is down injured here. He injures himself falling there. Oh, it looks like it. It looks like it's his calf.
It'll be a big loss now if I have to go off a big loss for St. Peter's. Maybe he's just cramped up a bit, maybe. Ty's getting up now. It looked like he just had some bit of a cramp, but I think they're going to just take him off. Just for the time being, anyway. Dan Danny Dunn comes on for Ty there. Ball is kicked out to the right-hand side there to James Foran. James Foran has it. James Foran has it. He'll go strong running up here. He gives it back to Danny Miguel. Danny Miguel has it there. He'll come running through the middle of the field. Danny Miguel still has it. He keeps going. He keeps going it now. Danny's running. He's going to have a crack at this one. That's a great score if he scores it. That's a great score there by Danny Miguel. Great score there by Danny Miguel. Danny! 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 Contact! Contact! Danny! Go! 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 Contact! Contact! Hey! 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 James, James, go. Aaron. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn us back, turn us back. Turn us back. That's it. Aaron, Aaron, until Liam is back. And then switch with him. Take nine, take nine. Turn Liam is back. When Liam is back, then switch. Danny, 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 man. That's it. All of that kicks this one out to the right hand side of the pitch there. He's look what the number 13, Leon O'Connor. But he's kicked it. It's gone out over the line. It's great to quickly take a ball there to the number 12, Carmick. Carmick Bastille. Carmick Bastille has it now. Oh, he's been well tackled there. He's been well tackled there. Oh, Danny Miguel has it and he's gone away with it there. Freddie Guy has it now. Freddie has it. He still has it. A great little defender. He still has it and he gets a free for his troubles there. Well done by Freddie Guy. He might be small in stature, but by God, he can play football. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Danny Miguel will kick this one now again. Oh, Bad kick there by Danny. He's giving it away to the stacks. The stacks are away here with number seven, Alex Tuhi. Alex Tuhi still has it. Out to the right hand side to the number eleven. Number eleven kicks it into the full forward line. The full forward line is very fast here. The number fourteen has it. Ryan O'Driscoll has got away from him. But Colin O'Leary has it. He comes out strong. Owen Brangan tries to get it out of the way, but it doesn't get it too far. He's giving it away there. The stacks of it. Men inside here. Oh, it was well taken away by Freddie Guy. He's at it again. Oh, he's hitting hard. Look there. The number 14 has it and he hits it out to the number seven. Number seven, Alex Two. He, he'll, will he have a go here? No, he kicks it straight in to the number eight. The number eight will have a crack here. He kicks it up. It's to the left over the bar. That's a good score there from the number eight, Ben Murphy. McGuinness is going to kick this one out again. He kicks it out to the left hand side of the pitch, looking for Danny McGill. Danny McGill will go over. That's a goal. Oh, well taken off from there by the stacks, man. Ben Murphy, and he's going strong still. He's still going forward. He surely has score here. To oh, no, it's to the left. That should have been a score for the stacks, but he's hit it to the left and wide. We've now have Liam Calvin down. There's something wrong with his boots. I'm not just sure, but We're waiting in a few minutes here. I'll just give you some of profile on some of these players. 
Darrett and goals. Even though he has played outfield on occasion, he's pulled off some outstanding saves to have won matches. And as we've seen it here today, he's had made some great saves. He keeps getting better and better. And number two, we've Jack O'Brien. Jack, tough tackling man marker who can play anywhere in the fullback line. Puts his body on the line to defend the goal. One of the few lads who are comfortable with both feet. Unlucky with injuries in recent times, but now back to full fitness. A fullback, we've the good Garrison man here, fullback and leader. Colin O'Leary, strong, skillful, and all the qualities to develop into a top player. He's a forward nightmare and no stranger to the art of defending. Not afraid to get up the pitch if needed and lead from the back. Another of our lads in the Dublin development squad. At number four, we've the Grey Hone by Angan. A cornerback who could play anywhere, such as his versatility and skill level. Highest scoring cornerback in the game. Owen has taken huge strides in the past year to be one of the first names on the team sheet. Great competitive attitude and quiet confidence about him. Watch this space. We're ready to kick this ball out again. Darren McGuinness kicks it out to the right hand side. He's looking for the number 16, John Robertson. John has it now. Great ball, for James Fowler, James Fowler will surely go on with this now, he does well, he gets it out, they kick back straight, great ball, flick up to James Fowler again, James is going strong with this but he gets knocked away from him, he gets an island off the ball tackle there, but don't know, could he, James Fowler now he's done well, he's done very well there, number 15 now has it, referee says he played it on the ground, it's taken away, it's a free out for the stacks. Free out for the stacks here. He's going to go down along the line. He kicks it down along straight into the hands of Freddie Guy. Freddie has it. Lovely ball into the straight into the centre half forward there, number 11. Aaron McLean, the ball is blocked off him. But James Forner, no, Danny McGill has it. Danny will surely kick this one over the bar. That's a great score there by Danny McGill. Great score there by Danny McGill. Two subs coming on here. But they're going to have to wait now. Oh, there's a great catch there by the centre. The number 12 for Stacks. They're coming through here again. Stacks to the number 11. They'll surely get a score out this to be looking for a score, looking for a goal. Oh, they did. They get a goal. That's a great goal there. Great goal there for the Stacks. Right, they're, number they're number 10. No degrees. Ball is kicked out here to the right hand side of the field. He's looking for Danny McGill, but he kicks it over the over the line there. Line ball into the stacks. Ball the stacks have it here again. No, they're looking for another score here. No degrees is in again, but he kicks it out. Oh no, it's, it's rebounded back out. It's rebounded back out, and they still have it, and it's got over the bar for a point. I have to bring a full forward, Finn Warnock, out to the middle of the field here. Ball is kicked out to the right hand side. Danny McGill has it. Kiss a lovely ball up, up the old to the right hand side. It's broken away. Stacks have it again. Stacks have it here this time. Of course, the fresher team. This is their first game. This is number nine there. Has it now. He surely look for a score here. Oh, well knocked away there. Right, right, Colin O'Leary. Right. Well knocked away. Yeah. Right, right the full back. Colin O'Leary. Yeah. Colin keeps going forward for it. Great running there. Lovely little ball in here. To f That's a great ball into Aaron. Aaron McLean has it. Aaron still has it. He's looking for somebody to come out to. 15 has it. He kicks a lovely ball in. in. There's a great ball into Connor. It's taken away from him. Oh, it's taken away there. Daddy, Daddy, get back. Daddy, go back. Daddy, go back. Stacks have it here again now. Ball in there to number seven, Alex Tui. Alex still has it. 
He kicked it out to his number eight uh, midfielder Ben Murphy. Ben Murphy has it now and plays it to his midfield partner there, number nine, Ronan Carroll. Ronan, it's, got a, it's a lovely ball back and he has it again. Ronan Carroll, he surely have a go at this one. That's a good score there by the Stacks. One, three to three points here to, to Austin Stacks. It's a nice ball out here to Finn Warnock on the sideline. Finn will go forward with this. He'll, he'll look for somebody. He'll surely look for somebody here up along the line. He does. He's a lovely ball. He's got to be left it behind him. Attack! Attack! Contact! 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 Stacks have it here now. Along the, along this line. The number 11 has it. The number 11 there. Number 11, Gavin Casey. He's still going forward with it. It's a great run here by Austin Stacks. He's looking for somebody to come in on it here, and that's a great ball in. He's surely got a score here. He does. That's another goal. That's another great goal there by the Stacks. 2-3 to three points. Of course, the fresher leg shows here now in this second game after a great start there by St. Peter's. Another quick ball out here to Finn Warnock. Out along the side here. Let's go. Back to Danny Dunn. Danny Dunn has it here. He'll go forward with this. Oh, it's a bad ball by James Farron. Lucky to keep it up there. Picks it up to Colin O'Leary. Colin O'Leary has it there now. And kissed up along the line here. Looking for the foot. Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin still has it. He still has it. He still has it. He's, no, it wasn't gone. Stacks have a sideline ball here. Makes it into the number nine. The number nine has it now. He still has it. He's still going forward. He gets by two lads there. He gets by three lads. Ronan Carroll. Ronan hits it into his midfield partner again. Ben Murphy. Ben Murphy still has it. Toe to hand once. He tries to get by the number 22. For Peters, he gets it back out. And there's a great score there if he gets it. Now he hits it to the left and wide. Ball is kicked out, Colin O'Leary has it now. Colin O'Leary has it here now, he'll go forward with it. Gives a nice ball there to Owen Brangan. Owen Brangan will drive on with this. Great bit of pace here by the Butcher. The Butcher has it and he hits it into the corner there. To Donnick, D has it, he hits it back out to the number 11. He'll have a go of a score here, that's a great, oh off the crossbar. Or off the post there and out to the left and wide. A good effort there by Aaron McLean. Ball is out to the middle of the field. Finn Warnock is up, but he doesn't get it. It's marked there, but and it's it's half time here. Austin Stacks leading two, three to three points, six point lead here. We'll just go through another few of these players here for St. Peter's number five. We've Michael O'Cahill. Michael uh, Michael O'Cahill, lucky to break his collarbone earlier this year, but was still a regular at training. Committed, dogged and talented back, who's getting better with every game. Quite young man with solid octopus hands, who relishes the big matches. At number seven, at number seven we have Freddie Guy, a little small man, a quality man marker. Freddie De Limpin is a wing back that despite his stature loves the physical side of the game. He's a ball winner. He knows exactly when to offload it to another player. While Freddie is regularly the smallest on the pitch, he's the biggest heart. At number four, or sorry, at number, yeah, at number, sorry, I we mix up in the numbers there. I know he's playing at number five. James Foran is a relative newcomer to St. Peter's team but what an impact he has had a strong run out the ball James is a natural ball carrier he's a big lad and has added to the team's physicality more to come from him this young man no doubt At number eight we have Liam Galvin the Kerry man playing in Dublin Liam is another versatile player who can play full back wing back or midfield a top class hurler who could catch a golf ball in Hollywood Lakes of Ast 
comfortable with the physical side of the game. His power for running has been a great asset for the team. Course at number six, we have the captain, Danny Miguel, son of Ian. Danny, the inspiration skipper of the team, a consistent top class performer. His all round skills in tackling, blocking, passing, and shooting are highly impressive. Danny was picked for the Dublin Development Panel, and their future for Dublin is looking bright with the level of talent available. At number nine, we have Donick McGee. Had a brilliant first game there, so he's scoring a hat trick. And he's one of our Dublin Development lads. Donick is an outstanding talent. Whether he gets the ball, it's a hell of a job getting it off him. He has pace, strength and superb balance. Comfortable on both sides. A goal-scoring machine from midfield. Donick has a great attitude and a keen trainer. At his best when playing with a smile on his face. At number 10, we have Danny Dunn. Danny, of course, son of the great Sheriff. Sheriff Dunn from, from Garristown. Danny's work rate in knitting the backs and the forwards together from wing back and pressed in the most recent league game against Nafina. Building on that performance will be very important for the team's success. Versatile player with a good engine who gives it all on the pitch. At 11 we have Aaron Madlin. Aaron is a quiet unassuming lad on the pitch who is full of encouragement for his teammates. Cultured left foot works tirelessly on the opposition's 45. On his day he's an unstoppable scorer. Another of our, another of our county development training reps who is there on merit is one of the best forwards in Dublin. At number 12, of course, we have the great Tyg Stafford, naturally gifted far farmer footballer. Few things bring a smile to your face more in a game than seeing Tig in full flight. Unbelievable under the high ball and sharp shooter in front of goal. Another of our development squad representatives. High hopes for Tiggy. Thirteen, we have Sean O'Brien, another Garristown lad. Sean, Shawnee has had some strong campaigns for us in the past few years. A gifted, intelligent footballer who could thread the ball through the eye of a needle with his kicking. Accurate from the dead ball, he regularly gets his share, fair share of score tally. We're ready to start the second half here now. Of course, St Peter's trailing by six points. The ball is in and the game is on for the second half. St. Peter's have it this time. Danny McGill has the ball. It was well blocked by him, but Danny has it again. It looked like he was fouled there, but the referee said no. Danny still has it. He's doing very well. He hits it to James Farn. James Farn has it now. Donick has it now. Oh, Tiger's back on again. The mighty Tiger's back on. Liam hits it into Finn Warnock, Finn Warnock back to Tyg, back to Tyg, Tyg has it now, Tyg will go on, he'll surely look for a score here, that's a great score there by Tyg Stafford, great off the left foot, a brilliant score there by Tyg Stafford. Keep it away lads, kick that ticket over, tipping over. All over a lot of gets ready to kick this ball out. It's high up in the air, the ball is holding with a bit of wind. That's a great catch there, a great mark there by the number seven, Alex Tuvey. Alex has it now and he goes on running on forward with it. And the number nine has it now, Ronan Carroll. He'll surely get a score out of this. He hits a lovely ball out, they're looking for a goal here, but they get a point out of it instead. Nine but thirteen, Ryan O'Connell, Leon O'Connell. Darren McGuinness looks to kick this one out again. He's gone through the right this time. Oh, it's held up in the air. It will surely. That's a great catch there by the number 14, the full foul, Ryan O'Driscoll. He's going forward with this now. Very talented footballer, this young man. He's going for a score. He'll surely get a score, and that's another good score. Just a bad kick out there by this Peter's goalkeeper. But we look to rectify that now in a few minutes. Ball out into the middle of the field, looking for Liam Galvin here. He doesn't get it, but just a great mark there. But the number nine, Ron Carroll for the stacks. 
It's a great ball in. Oh no, it's well blocked down there. Oh, it's taken it off his toe. Taken it off his toe. Jack O'Brien and the stacks are in here again. No, the keeper does well, does very well to come out and hits a nice ball out here. Danny Dunn look for this one. He gets it there now. He looked to see if he can get Tyg in on the game here. Danny still has it. Danny still has it and he gets a free for his troubles. Danny McGill will kick this one. He's looking for the centre half hour now. He kicks it back to back to Liam Galvin. Liam has it now here. Gives it out to the number two, Jack O'Brien. Jack O'Brien has it. He gives it to the number 16, John Robertson. John, John Robertson has it now. He'll surely have a look here now. He gives it back now. Liam Galvin has it. Liam does well. Jack Foran has it. Back to John Robertson. John still has it. Oh, he's been caught around the neck by the... The number two has it now. Is the referee will take a card out here for this one. It's up for a high tackle there. The number 13, Leon O'Connor, he'll surely get a yellow card for this. Danny McGill takes a quick into the corner there. Donnick has it well. That's number seven. He has it again. Freddie has it. He's back, back to Donnick. Donnick back into Danny McGill. Danny McGill has it. He'll have a go here with his left foot. That's a great score. That's a great score there by Danny McGill off his left foot. They still trail by six points to five to five. Well, I got ready to kick this out. He's going to kick this to the right hand. Now it's down the middle of the field. He gets it. This is surely the number two's ball. Yes, it is. Well done, Jack O'Brien. Jack is down on the ground and he gets a free for his troubles. Oh no, he gives it out. He's played on. Danny McGill has it. Danny gives it back to Tyg. Tyg gives a lovely ball out there now to, to Liam Galvin. Liam has it now. He's going forward with this. Her number 11, oh, Aaron McLean. Aaron has it now. Back into John Robertson. John will have a go at this, and that's a great score. That's a great score there by John Robertson. A great score there. Well done, John. Ball is out again. Stack kick it out again. Let's get out over the line. It's a line ball here for St. Peter's. Keen Downey will kick this one. He will kick it. He plays a nice ball into the middle of the field. Danny McGill looks for it. Danny does very well there to get that ball. Very well, so he does. It's a nice ball out here to 15. Another ball into the corner and again. Danny Dunn has it again. But Dan back to Danny McGill. Danny McGill back to Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin goes surging forward here now. Liam has it. He'll give it to John Robertson. John has it here again now. He'll have a look here now. Has he someone to give it to? Oh, yes, the ball taken off him. Nobody still has it. He gets the ball taken off him there. But he'll still go on. But this is a great run here by the Stacks number eight. And number eight is Ben Murphy. He hits it into his midfield partner. Ronan Carroll. Ronan Carroll has a shot and he hits it over the bar. It's got very strong coming through the middle there, Austin Stacks. Darren McGuinness getting ready to kick this one out again. Darren kicks this one out to the right hand side. Oh, it was well won there. Well won there by Alex Tui. Alex Tui sitting into the 14, the number 14, Rhino Driscoll. Rhino Driscoll's going marching forward here. He surely look for a goal here. Keeper has him out, but he scores another goal. It's a third goal there for the Astaks. Ball is kicked out here again. Danny, oh, it was well marked there. It was well marked there with their number 12, Cormac Bastille. And he's going forward now. Here's Ben Ronan Carroll. Ronan Carroll is going to look for another goal here, surely. And he does exactly that. That was a great score again. 
Great score again. They're running too freely through midfield. Here's out of the air. Four, six to six points. Out here, someone go up for it. Look, oh, well done, Ty Great. Knock down, Ty. Come on, Freddy. Freddy had his penalty. That's it. That's great fighting there. Great fighting there, boy. Boy, Peters. Great ball in. Drive forward now. Well done, Finn. He's down with cramp as well. They're all cramping up here fairly easy now. The hard ground. Jack, go back, Jack, Jack, go back, Jack. Tides go down, tides go down, tides go down. Hold on. Croaks are in here again, Croaks are in here again. They're looking for another score. And it's it high over the bar. Sub on here, number 17, Michael Cal. Tyg is going to have to come off here. He seems to be cramping up badly. I oh, know he's going to play on. Ball is out again, and surely. Oh, that's a great catch there by the number eight, a great mark by Ben Morphy. And the full forward is going in again, and now they're in here again. The stacks, the stacks are in here again. And the, oh, it's a great save there by the goalkeeper, Dara. Great save there by Dara McGuinness. Tiger's off again there with cramp. Forty-five here for the Austin Stacks. Brown and Carroll kicked us forty-five. It's a lovely ball in there by Ronan Carroll, but he kicks it to the right and wide. Kick this one out again now. Out to the right hand side. That's another good mark there. But the number nine, Ben Murphy. Oh, he hits it in now to the full forward again. The full forward is in again here. He's surely scored another one here. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, oh but they're in. No. no. Peter's men there. It's another goal there for the stacks. Are getting ready to kick this one out again? He kicks it out here to the left hand side. Aaron Little and Aaron will go for this. And oh, he gets it, but he's knocked down to the number 21, Paddy Lucid. Oh, well done. That's well done, then, by the number two, Jack O'Brien. Jack has it now to Aaron. Aaron has it. Aaron McGlynn. He's going flying forward here. He's looking for Danny McGill. Danny McGill's coming running straight down through the middle. Danny is running straight down. He'd surely have another score. No, he kicks it to the left hand side and wide. 
see this game is just about nearly over. Ball is kicked out by the stacks goalkeeper. Well done there. The number 23, Harry McIlvany. Owen Brangan has it. Oh, oh, he hits it into Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin has it now and he hits it out to number 22. The number 18 has it here now. Sennon Wilson. Sennon Wilson still has it. Goes back to the 22. Harry McIlvany. Or, yeah, Harry McIlvany. Harry hits it back out now. And Donnock, Donnock has it now. Donnock McGee has it and he kicks it over the bar. That's a good score there by Donnock McGee. Not as prominent in this second game, but of course, we have a hell of a first game, a hard game. The number 24 coming on here now for St. Peter's. Jack O'Brien has gone off. Another kick out to the left hand side was well marked there by the centre half back, Fionn Ryan. And he's going forward with the ball now and he kicks it in. Look for the full forward again, very dangerous full forward. He still has it here. He'll surely go for a score here himself. Yes, he will. He kicks it over the bar now. That's a good score there with the number 14, Ryan O'Driscoll. Out to the right hand side here, looking for Aaron McLean. Aaron doesn't get it. It his opposite number 11. Oh, Aaron does very well there. He still has it. He still has it. And he does very well there. That's a push in the back referee. It's surely a free there for Peters. Aaron McLean takes them quick into Liam Galvin. Liam Galvin has it now. He's running forward, running strong. Oh, and he slips on the pitch. Pitches. The pitch is a bit slippy here after a small drop of rain earlier on. And of course, the ground is very, very hard. He's going to throw it in here. Take a ball, Take a ball. Oh. It's always thrown in, but I don't know why he's ever called a hot ball. Second ball, Aaron. Good shoulder, James. Good shoulder, James. James Foran will go up for this one. He does very well to hit it down to Liam Galvin. Liam has it this time now. Liam has it now, and he gives it to Danny McGill. Danny McGill, oh, lovely ball in. Aaron McGlynn has it. Aaron has it now. He's looking for Danny Dunn. Danny has it now. But back to Aaron McGlynn. Aaron has it now. He's going around. It's well marked by the, by the Stacks players. Out here, out here to Freddie. Freddie has it now, but he gives it back into Aaron McLean. Aaron has it now and into the corner there. Aaron has it back. He'll surely go forward, try and go forward with this. As it kicks a great ball in, but straight now the stacks of too many players in there. And the referee blows full there. And that's like seven points to five seven. That's a, that's a well earned high score there for the stacks. Of course, they were the fresher team coming into it. This is their first game, and it showed there in that. They had the extra legs there to get through that. Number 14, of course, on the St. Peter's team is Finn Warnock. A Balamadun man, a little figure. In her full forward line, Finn is a physical presence that occupies the best fullbacks in Dublin. He's a cannon of her right foot and has scored some big goals for us over the past few years. 15 is Keane Downey. Keane is a highly creative forward who looks so comfortable with the ball in hand. His skill level is up there, the best forwards in the league. Two-footed pass and precision and selfless running off the ball are some of his key assets. Another who plays best with a smile on his face. 16 is John Robertson. He's a quiet, easy-going lad who's also a talented soccer player. A keen off-the-shoulder runner with a turn of pace who has an eye for score. John has enormous potential in this code and will no doubt reach it if he continues on his current trajectory. At 18, we have Sennon Wilson. Sennon, the pocket rocket, has been sprung from the bench in many big games. To come up with important scores. Sennon has grown in confidence every year, and his eye for goal has pushed him into the start and reckoning this year. Number 19 is Paddy Donnelly. Paddy has been lucky with injuries this year, but continues to test himself against the best forwards around. A tough back who has improved his ball distribution to become a serious option in the team's back six. Of course, his father, Lockie, a hell of a footballer down the years for Ballybuckle. 